Mid Journey just got a big new update and here's part 2 of everything you need to know about version 5. I'll go over the details of how expensive version 5 is to run, I've got some advice on how to prompt, we'll take a look at tiling and I'll give you a breakdown on remixing your old pictures. Let's start with the housekeeping issues. How expensive is version 5? Generating images on version 5 does cost more than version 4. When you're in Discord, if you hit forward slash info, you can see your account usage. Now, one hour in real life is 60 minutes, but Mid Journey will report your hour in terms of a percentage, with version 5 costing around 3% of a GPU hour. This is more expensive than version 4 because now there is no upscaler. Instead, you get all four images at a higher resolution. So you can expect around 33 images per GPU hour as long as you don't adjust the quality parameter. And I have a special mini tip for you. Instead of clicking upscale on each of the generations, you can react to your image with the envelope emoji. This will make Mid Journey send you a private message with your seed number. However, it also sends you each of the images separated and ready to download. I've got other videos planned where I'll take a closer look at portraits, multi-prompting, and image prompting. So make sure you leave a like on this video if you've learned something new and subscribe so you don't miss a video in the future. Now here is a key tip on how to prompt. Version 5 is incredibly realistic by default. And from what I've heard, this is because previous versions of Mid Journey would secretly include something like digital painting in your prompt in order to get that consistent style we're familiar with. Now don't quote me on that, I don't know if that's how it actually worked or if it was just a good way to describe the old algorithms. Either way, version 5 does not include that right now. So if you're looking for a more traditional mid-journey image, make sure you include something like digital painting or digital illustration in your prompt. To the examples, here's the King of Lions in version 5. As you can see, it is super realistic, even with a slightly unrealistic prompt. Like I didn't ask for a photorealistic picture of a lion, but you don't have to do that right now. So keep that in mind if this isn't what you were looking for. Because here's what most people would expect to get by now. Here's the King of the Lions in version 4. As you can see, it threw a crown on the lion here. Much more illustrative and imaginative. Now version 5 will develop its own style over time, but for right now, in this sort of pro mode, Mid Journey is going to default to the realistic. So we should include things like digital painting to get that painterly touch, or digital illustration to really hone in on what we've come to expect from Mid Journey. Okay, let me show off a bit of multi-prompting right now, and then we'll take a look at tiling after. I don't think anyone has narrowed down the most effective way to use multi-prompting, but I can show you how powerful it is. Here's Mecha Gorilla. Okay, standard Mid Journey image, sure. Mecha Gorilla watercolor painting. Also pretty standard, but much more mecha gorilla than watercolor, I think. So I saw this advice in one of the channels, and they called it sliding or using sliders, which means you start with your base prompt, mecha gorilla watercolor painting, you add the two colons, and then you repeat the part of your prompt you felt Mid Journey didn't focus on, and you weight it with a number between 0 and 1. You don't want to go over 1. And let me try to explain why. When you divide up your words with multi-prompting, but don't specify a value, the value is 1, and then any other weights you use are going to be compared to the number 1. So when we want to add weight to watercolor painting, we don't want to make it more than 1, because then Mid Journey might swing too hard in that direction. We just want to nudge it to the word we want it to focus on. And here's an example of why we want to keep the weights low. This isn't using the slider method, but it still applies. Mecha Gorilla colon colon watercolor painting. We gave the watercolor painting a weight of 2, which which means that word is twice as important as anything else in the prompt. Sure, we get two gorillas in two and three, but number one is just a flower and number four might be a mecha of some sort. Anytime you increase a weight above one, Mid Journey is going to focus on that probably way more than you wanted. I'll just show you here. Here's the weight with the three. And now there are no gorillas. These are just watercolor paintings because we said watercolor painting is three times as important as anything else in the prompt. Here it is 
with four. We have a flower, a house, a lion, and a bird when the prompt is Mecha Gorilla. You see what I mean? Now let's talk about the best way to compare old prompts to new prompts. Here's what I recommend. First, find an old picture of yours on the Mid Journey website. And if you didn't know, you can hit this archive button right here on your homepage. And if the website is working properly, it will sort all of your pictures by the date you created them. Super powerful stuff. It makes it really easy to find old pictures. Of course, it says the API seems to be having issues at the moment. Please try again later. Oh, and there you go. It's working. Anything with the website, take with a grain of salt. But this technique will still apply. So let's try finding something from October 12th. Boom, we're already there. Okay. No, it's boring. Uh, is this cool? Okay, we could try this. A full body shot of a damaged in battle female warrior with colorful leather armor. So what I want you to do is hit this button here, the ellipses, and you get your options. I want you to copy the job ID and then back in Discord, I want you to hit forward slash show and then you can hit control V or right click and hit paste to paste the job ID hit enter and discord will bring up the old picture as if you had just made it. And now what we're going to do is remix this photo into the newest version of the algorithm V5. So we want to make sure remix is turned on and you can do that by hitting forward slash prefer remix or just remix and it'll pop up. Hit enter. I had it on. So now it says it's off. So we're going to just do the same thing again. Remix is turned on now. And anytime we hit a variation button, a new text box will pop up V1. Can you see here? So we're going to erase the old algorithm. We're going to hit V5. However, this is going to take literally that picture and remix it in a newer version. So I want you to also copy that prompt and regenerate it under the newest algorithm. All right, here's the old version from the test algorithm on V3. Here's the remix of it. And I think these are actually pretty good, probably better than I was expecting. Maybe we'll upscale number four. But look, here it is naturally in version five super different, super gorgeous, I think. I'm, I'm a pretty big fan of these. And that's the process I recommend if you're trying to see how your old pictures and old prompts look in V5. I can also show you here is Cyberpunk Shrek. Not very good. So we hit variations, we included V5 in the prompts, and we get these. Granted, they're probably a little better, but not that good. So we copy and paste the prompts, and we get these. <laughs> Again, short prompts, not going to get you anything amazing, but that's that's the process I would go through. Now let's talk about tiling really quick. The Mid Journey team warned us that tiling didn't work perfectly all of the time and it was really up to our discretion if we should be using it. But I also heard that tiling might work well on larger aspect ratios. Let me show you those results. Here's Cyberpunk Halloween Design dash dash tile in the square aspect ratio one by one. And I think these look Okay, I like number two a lot. And if you're curious about how tiling works, it means these images will blend seamlessly if you surround them with each other. Like here, I can show you. This little part right here is the rest of this circle coin over here. And the missing top of this skull is right there. You see that the right turns into the left and the top turns into the bottom. But let's look at it in the higher aspect ratio. It is not good. And I received another comment that said tiling reminds them of version 3. And I think that's pretty accurate. These are terrible. And I'm actually quite shocked at how bad they are, especially because I didn't change the prompt. It's the same thing as the one by one and the one by one looked okay. But then, but now I don't even know what to think. Here's mandala carpet. I, I was expecting, you know, an intricate mandala design on a rug or something. And it, <laughs> It's absolutely nonsense. <laughs> what are these? Here it is in 16 by 9. Completely terrible. I don't know what to say. The jury's out on tiling right now. Use it at your own risk and let me know if you come up with any tips or tricks that will help out the designs. Because I also tried farm animal sticker art, tried to be really specific, and it gave me some nonsensical farm animals. Not really impressed. I mean, number three is not bad. Same thing for the larger ratio. These are, these are not good, not coherent. Quite shocking, honestly. All right, there's part two of my coverage on version five. Leave a comment if there's anything you've learned that I should know about. Hope you're doing well. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Peace.